Hello, this is Dr. Bartosh of Proactive Wellness and Injury Center, and today I'd like to talk to you about a chemical that we find in our drinking water across the country and in many of the toothpaste that we use, and it's called fluoride. What's alarming is the research that, that we now have seen regarding fluoride and its effect on our health. As a matter of fact, we see now that, that the research is showing that it's a neurodegenerative, it causes neurodegenerative diseases. It affects the brain, the spinal cord, and the sciatic nerve primarily. Now, when it's affecting the brain, it can cause a lowered IQ. It can affect our cognitive functions. It affects or can create learning disabilities as well. And we're seeing more and more and more of these types of conditions evidenced in our society. What's really interesting, however, is its effect on the thyroid. Now, years ago, when people had a hyperthyroidic condition, when their thyroid was working too much or overworking, they would immerse the individual in a fluoride bath. And fluoride had such a profound effect on the thyroid that it would reduce it or it would, it would cause it to, to, to slow down in, in its functions. Now, think about this for a moment. If you have a normal working thyroid and you're drinking tap water or the water each and every day that has fluoride in it and you're using fluoride containing toothpaste, then what can happen is it will, su it will suppress your th thyroid over time. And this can result in a weight gain, it can result in skin and bone disorders or memory loss depression, hair loss, and we're seeing more and more ladies today that are being diagnosed with a thyroid condition, primarily they're hypothyroidic. Also, we're seeing these women now with these conditions now on antidepressants, and also we're seeing more and more women who are having issues with hair loss. I don't think it a stretch to connect the use of these fluoride containing substances and these kinds of conditions that are arising in our society today. And you've heard me tell you before that if that all of these chemicals are contributing to, to many of these disorders that we're seeing today, and in order to reduce them, what we've got to do is, is to detoxify the body on a cellular level. Because if the cells are containing these things, then that body is not going to be healthy. Now, some of the things that you can do in order to offset this is to drink tamarind tea, uh, eat eggs, even though the commercials say you shouldn't eat eggs or, or the doctors are saying that eggs are bad for you. Of course, if you're eating real eggs, they're very good. Onions eat uh, hormone-free chicken, and also eat Brazil nuts. Those are very good as well in, in their ability, all of these foods, in their ability to clean the body out of the fluoride. Of course, that's not the only thing you need to do. You need to check your sources and see if the toothpaste that you're using have fluoride in them, or if the water that you're drinking is uh, inundated with fluoride as well. Remember, these are just some of the steps that you can take because when it comes to your health, you must remain proactive.